welcome to hang on network where you get updated news of things happening around you if this is your first time of visiting this channel i would like and encourage you to subscribe so that you get updated news as soon as we publish them the controller general nigeria custom service colonel hamed ali has asked nigerians to stop eating foreign rice noting that they are poisonous Speaking at a news conference organized by the Ministry of Finance, the customs boss said that the federal government is yet to issue license for importation of rice and that any rice on the streets that was not produced in Nigeria is smuggled. He said that imported rice is poisonous because before coming into the country, it must have spent a minimum of five years in the silos. A chemical must have been added to sustain its freshness and that chemical is harmful also it has been rebacked with a new date given as the production and expiry dates and that is what we consume here which causes disease so i appeal to nigerians to please patronize our own rice it is available more nutritious and if you do that you will assist custom by making sure these people that is the smugglers are put out of business Ali said that rice importation was one of the biggest challenges the agency was encountering, adding that it still happens because Nigerians consume imported rice. He added that if Nigerians stop buying the imported rice, smugglers will go out of business and there will be no need to bring it in. We always ask for assistance from Nigerians to apprehend these smugglers, but up to now, there is no private citizen that has worked up to us to give us information. The only people giving us information are the rice millers. It's a good one. We all love our country. We all love ourselves. You know, we love what comes out of us as well. If the rice, the local rice they are preaching, if it's really available, of course, there's, there's no need for going outside to, you know, looking for imported rice because most of this uh, imported rice they are mainly white rice and white rice is really dangerous to, to to our system even not only to our system you know it's been proven that this brown rice because our local rice are really they are in brown and brown rice are very healthy compared to white rice and those imported rice are white rice so it's a good thing but the most important thing is it starts to be available and cheap for people to be able to uh, to be able to buy you know it should be affordable because right now uh, our brown rice our local rice which we know as a father rice is very very expensive now because it's so nutritious because it's high in fiber if you check check it brown rice are high in fiber so it's not by preaching it it's not by saying it if we have the local rice flooded all over the place i tell you nobody we look at imported rice. There was a time this present administration, this government is preaching uh, buy Nigeria, grow Nigeria. But they do different things. They do different things. If the country general of custom is advising Nigerians to patronize uh, uh, Nigeria uh, made things, homemade things, they should also tell themselves too that are in government. Why is it that we don't patronize our hospitals too. It will just be. It will just look as if one is sounding like a broken record. But that is just the fact. When your president will go outside the country, because outside the uh, the UK hospital is what is really good for him. What is he hiding? What is the secret thing that he's doing that he doesn't want people to know? Because they will tell you that okay, he doesn't want to be poisoned. If you are a good person, why would you be poisoned? Even with the high level of security and you know, a uh, 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 good intelligence on on ground. So, if you want us to patronize rice, if you want us to patronize our local rice, there's no big deal about it. We all love it. Just like what I said, it's even more nutritious. It's more healthy. Apart from being uh, nutritious, it's more healthy compared to those white rice because the, most of the foreign rice, 99% of those foreign rice are white rice and they are not healthy to the body. Our ofada rice, as we, make, as we always call them, they are more organic, they are nutritious, they are high in fiber, and we need fiber in our body. If we have of this, more of this local rice on ground, I tell you, and it's, if it's cheaper, people will go for it. We don't, you don't need to even preach to, to people, but they are not available.
they are not available. You don't need anybody to come and tell you or to come and give you reports, you know, about the smugglers. On their own, naturally, it will die a natural death. Because when they see that rice is, is flooded, our local rice is flooded in the markets, nobody would want to waste his or her money bringing rice into the country because our local rice are not available. And they are not available because our farmers are not even doing well. They are not doing well in, in the sense that it's not as if it is their fault. We see the issue of this uh, uh, men killing farmers. And that's why you see a lot of uh, uh, agricultural products are so expensive now because most farmers are not going to the to the farm to, to do their farming and they are not being encouraged because they are still using all, all system of way uh, investing their, their their crops one is security and second one is for the government to be able to provide enabling environment to be able to support the farmers the rice the local rice are not available in the markets they are not they should be flooded it's just like gary now gary is just what you can just get anywhere it's nothing even if you don't have money to cook soup to make a bar, you can just put gari inside your water because it's all over the place. That's why you see gari is still cheaper. It's one of the cheapest, you know, food that we eat in Nigeria. Somebody say, ah, this gari that I soaked this morning, oh, ah, it's only gari I'm soaking because it's, 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 it's just readily available. Every corner you see gari. So if rice is still, it's like that, so, you know, it will, it will be cheaper. And farmers need assistance. They need government intervention it, and everything still boils down on on electricity because they still need to store all of those things where there's no light and that's why you see all our fruits you know littered all over the place we don't even know the excess essence of uh, you know eating fruits fruit is very very good to our health the farmers cannot even store them you see them you know getting spoiled all over the place when you go to benue go to all those places that fruits are being produced you know they are not just there's no good storage because of electricity so when you are saying Nigerians should stop eating a foreign rice, you must have done your own work. That okay, if I've prepared these things or made these things available for you, it's natural. People will not go for the imported things. Local rice is very, very healthy. It's healthy to your body. Just like I said, just like I said, it's high in fiber, and fiber is good for our body. So in on that note, you know, let us patronize our homemade products. Thank you guys for listening. See you next in my next video. Bye.